authors of the Myth and Measurement, published in 1995, mentioned an increase in the minimum wage could be used, could use some firms to increase employment, and others to reduce it. As of today, in society, the minimum wage has a positive effect towards employees. To continue, satis to continue the satisfaction of employees, the minimum wage should increase so they can earn more money. Some people are employed and paid by their amount of time of work. The law of the minimum wage requires employees to pay their employees. So according to James Shirk, author of the article, What is the Minimum Wage? Its History and Effects, published on June 26, 2013, states, Higher minimum wages reduce overall employment and encourage workers to employees to enter the labor force. So he is convincing that if minimum wages, he states that higher minimum wages reduce overall employment and encourage workers to enter the labor force. So he is convincing that if minimum wages are raised, it can be highly possible that many future employees will have the opportunity to join the labor force. So during my freshman year, I wanted to pursue a job, but unfortunately I did it because I didn't feel that the minimum wage was high enough. So of course I refused. And it sounds absurd, but minimum wage, I think that the minimum wage should be increased to be fair. So the act of the of the, of the increase of the minimum wage would make a big change in the working industry. And by doing so, it can decrease the low unemployment rate. So first I will discuss the significance of how uh, decreasing the rates of unemployment, how how the world can decrease the rates of unemployment. Second, I'll go over how helping increase the minimum wage can help motivate employees. And finally, I'll go over the how minimum wages can help boost U.S. jobs. So let's go over the unemployment rate and how it can be possible to decrease, decrease it. So to understand the significance of unemployment rate, it can be decreased. And I will inform you how uh, increasing the minimum wage can be a number one solution of this concern. So according to James, to Jared Bernstein Sher and Sherrod Parrott, authors of the proposal, authors of the article proposal to strengthen minimum wages, published on January 7, 2014, both stated, the common claim that increasing the minimum wage reduces employment for low wage workers is one of most extensive the issue. So this means that the cause of minimum this means that the cause of decreasing unemployment rates can be from natural observation. And it can be possible that all of you are wondering why should I care about the minimum wage if it's not affecting me. In fact, at some point it does affect us. So eventually we will attain a job and obviously earn a minimum wage and wages in the article, Employment Effects of Minimum Wages, published by David Newmore in May 2014, states, minimum wage creates neither, creates losers and winners. Winners get higher wage with no reduction in employment, while losers get dis disemployed effects by losing the job or getting the hours cut. So in other words, no matter what the minimum, no matter what the minimum wage, produces, it, it creates winners and losers. So it's still difficult to understand the concept. I'll explain how it is possible to increase the employment rate. So decreasing the minimum wage can help improve the economy system and benefit those who are struggling, struggling with surviving surviving on the low income. So there are many ways to increase the minimum wage and the results might be might not turn out the way we expect it to be, meaning that the consequences such as people having a difficult process to obtain a job. So why should the difficultness of taking a job prevent one from obtaining one? Wouldn't the increase of minimum wage motivate others to pursue a job? Think about the increase of minimum wage can earn you many Things you wish for. Um, now the 
have a better understanding of why minimum wage should increase. Also, it is also important to inform you that by agreeing to, pro to this process of this uh, law, it can gain many opportunities for people in need of a job. And since uh, minimum wages is, is a thought, it, wouldn't it motivate others in need to obtain one? I'm currently in a situation of looking for a job, and I think that increasing the minimum wage can not only earn you money, but also um, decrease the unemployment rate. So we head to the third point, I'll explain how decreasing minimum wages can help boost U.S. jobs to employ more people. Many people agree that minimum wages wouldn't be great because it will impact, because it won't impact, it won't have an impact towards the U.S. So I'm here to inform you how it is possible to raise the minimum wage. So according to Steve Hank, author of the article, Let the Data Speak, the Truth Behind Minimum Wage, published in, 9, in April 2014, he claims that Obama states a minimum wage increase in U.S. from current $7.25 per hour to President Obama's proposed $10 an hour would kill U.S. jobs. So how would increasing minimum wage destroy jobs? <laughs> People don't realize the benefits of increasing minimum wage. This role can have employees earning a higher salary. So Professor Friedman concludes that the increase of minimum wage will throw people into falling under unemployment benefits. This result into falling under unemployment benefits. This result will apply to people who are employed. So why would this law not be passed? It's important that one earns their salary by working. Point is, this point is straightforward and obvious, but it's important that I inform you how rewarding it can be to raise the minimum wage. Um, so people should take a stand on on, min, on why minimum wages should should um, be increased. I agree that this law should be passed for my own benefit as well as when I obtain a job in the future. So let's finish this with a positive thought. We practically went over how minimum wages can have an impact towards society. And increasing the income of the of those who work and decreasing employment rates are very possible if we just consider raising the minimum wages. Um, first we covered the significance of the unemployment rate and its possibility of decreasing it. Then I discussed how increasing the minimum wage could impact people with, with higher salaries. We have many responsibilities in our lives, and many should be a concern which we should make a priority. <clears throat> it's time to consider what obstacles can be valuable to our lives. Therefore, we should consider increasing the minimum wage to make unemployment rates 